Hey guys, my name is Jamie and I am a third year emergency medicine resident. And today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video. So I've done multiple iterations of this video starting from when I was a medical student. And today I'm going to be doing one as a third year emergency medicine resident. So my bag is from Low and Sons. It's their Hanover Deluxe backpack. The reason why I like it is because it's got nice big compartment and really fits everything that I needed to fit. I'm always switching between a backpack and a shoulder bag, um, but during the pandemic, I wanted everything kind of closed in, wanted to be able to zip everything up, so I'm using a backpack right now. Basically, the main feature of the backpack is that it's got a nice big front pocket that you can zip up and also has these nice side pockets where I usually keep a water bottle or I keep a name badge clipped onto it so I can just easily take it out when I get to work. So in the main compartment, there is an insert that you can clip in and clip out. The insert has a built-in laptop compartment as well as some of the side pockets that you can use. On the outside of the backpack, I have a few of these pins that I've accumulated over the last couple of months that I've been using it. I have one from the store where I got my wedding dress, and then two of these are from my residency. They were just giving them out, so I put them on my backpack. So let's talk about the things in my main compartment of the backpack. So I have my water bottle in here. Um, it's a 500 milliliter water bottle from Glossier. It's a Nalgene bottle. So basically indestructible um, and has a nice drinking spout. So you're not spilling it everywhere. The next thing I have is a book that I read sometimes when there is a little bit of downtime, usually overnight shifts. Um, this book is called Decision Making and Emergency Critical Care. So um, now that I'm a third year resident, I'm seeing a lot of kind of critically ill patients. So this is um, a good evidence-based book on how to deal with um, some of the cases. Next thing I have is a disposable stethoscope. These are available within the hospital. You can really easily wipe them down after seeing the patient. So these are good to have. Um, you can even usually just throw them away after the shift, but sometimes they're a little hard to come by. So I just keep one in my backpack and then I wipe it down when I'm done using it. Next thing I have is a stethoscope case. Um, it's not just for stethoscopes, it's actually for a lot of the other equipments that I use on a daily basis. So it has a nice zip around, um, so it keeps everything inside. Um, and then on the inside, there's these two compartment so it has my actual stethoscope um, as well as my pulse socks this came in really handy during um, the height of covid when everyone had really low oxygen saturation but we didn't have enough monitors to keep keep an eye on their oxygen saturation so basically um, you turn it on you put in your finger and the reason why I liked it is because it tells you your heart rate and your pulse ox, but also has a little waveform so you can see whether your reading is accurate or not. You want a nice consistent waveform to know that um, the reading that you're getting is accurate. And then the stethoscope is one that I've had since medical school. It's a Littman Cardiology 3. Um, you know, it's, it's a really nice stethoscope, but, you know, like I said before, I've been using a lot of the disposable ones for sanitary reasons. Um, this one's just a lot easier to clean, so I've been using this one mostly. But I do have this one in my backpack all the time. This is a pin that I got from my chief, um, B-A-F-E-R-D, if you guys can guess what that stands for. It stands for a bad ER doctor. Next, I have a um, goggle that I got from my work. Um, it's to give a little bit of eye protection. Um, and speaking of eye protection, you can also wear a shield mask. This is a mask that I got from work. I usually keep one in my backpack just because sometimes these are hard to come by and you definitely want to wear these if it's a droplet precaution or someone's coughing in front of you. Um, so I have one of these in my backpack. Another thing I have in my backpack is this HEPA filter. This is a HEPA filter that attaches to the endotracheal tube. So basically if somebody is intubated, you don't want all their particles from uh, their respiratory droplets going everywhere in the room. So you do put a HEPA filter on. You can do this on the bag, uh, the BVM bag valve mask or um, directly on their ET tube. Um, so you can, I usually have this around in case there isn't one available in our airway box. Um, these can be kind of hard to come by also. So definitely a must if somebody's going to be intubated. 
The next thing I have is my Kindle. Um, this has like mostly my fun books. Um, usually when it comes to educational books, I do like to have a physical book so I can like underline and write notes on the side. Um, but like reading for pleasure, I can um, read on my Kindle. Next thing I have is a stack of these reference cards. So some of these I made on my own. So this one is a uh, ICU management for COVID-19. Um, it's a hospital guideline that I printed out. Um, and then I basically taped it with box tape, um, like the kind that you use to like tape up boxes to make it a little more like laminated. And you can also wipe it down if it gets dirty. So this is like my homemade reference card for that. Um, same thing with this. This is like a um, sedative medication and like pain medication conversions that I um, card that I made on my own. Um, a lot of these are cards that you can actually buy on Amazon and um, different online stores. So this is an ACLS card. This is a PALS card for um, pediatric um, resuscitation. And then there's some uh, protocols that hospitals give out that are usually laminated that I keep in my back. As well. Next, we'll move on to what's in my front pocket. So usually I have a, like a little glasses wipe for the goggles, a little hand sanitizer. I have a bunch of different pens, but over the years, you guys know that my favorite has always been these like multi pens. So I have a couple of different multi pens for different colors to keep track of, you know, different things that need to be done and color code your items. Um, I have a charger. Both my work phone, my hospital phone, and my personal phone is iPhone. So I have my iPhone charger in my backpack just in case I need it. I have a little wet wipe in my bag. And then finally, um, a little bit of like ibuprofen and Tylenol in this bottle in case I get a headache or something. Um, next, I'll talk a little bit about my um, side pocket. So I keep this in my side pocket for easy access. It's basically shears, but I put it on these like what do you call these like retractable name tag things so that I clip it onto my the side of my pants and then I can without taking it out I can just like cut off patients clothes if I need to if they're in a trauma setting so um super handy to just have it on these like retractable name tags next is my ID badge and it's also on a retractable ID badge thing um, I have a little mini flashlight on it. These are really handy if you're looking in someone's throat to see if their throat looks okay. Um, the other thing I have are some of these like medication cards. So um, I have medications for intubation, basically induction and um, a paralytic. Um, these are the two medications that you give in a setting where you have to intubate somebody um, relatively quickly. Also have one for like a blood pressure, like a presser drip arrhythmia drips, if you need to be reversing any kind of like um, blood thinning medication like warfarin, like medications for that, um, active seizure medications, status epilepticus medications, um, herniation medications. These are also available on Amazon. I'll link everything down below. Um, and these were actually produced by EMRA, which is an emergency medicine um, association. I got this doctor tag from one of my co-residents. It was actually a third year medicine resident who was graduating um, and he gave it to me. Um, and sometimes it's just nice for patients to know that the person that they're talking to is a doctor. Even if I introduce myself as doctor, sometimes patients just forget. So it's nice to have this like role on your ID badge so everyone knows. Um, it nicely comes with um, little weight and height conversion. So converts your height from inches to centimeters. And on the other side, it converts your weight from pounds to kilograms, which I don't always have to do, but it's handy to have. So that's all the things that I have in my backpack. Like I said, this backpack is huge. So even with everything that I talked about, I can still fit another like change of clothes and things in this backpack. And I actually use this backpack a lot for traveling because it just fits so much stuff. Uh, one other feature that I want to talk about in the backpack is that it actually has like a little luggage um, handle section. So you can slide your backpack onto your luggage um, and this area actually zips on the bottom and the top. So that comes in really handy when you're traveling as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video about what's in my backpack. Let me know if you guys have any questions about any of the items that I have in my backpack. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye.